And now, if you've often wondered what Santa looks like in his shirt sleeves, here he is, John Cole, <laughs> together with a huge selection of prezzies. Right, a lot to get through here, John, where should we start? Right, this is a piece of speech synthesis software for the BBC Micro. We'll come to those in a moment. Right. Um, this, you just load into the computer, the BBC, and then you can t type a file, a word process file, and it will actually speak it out of the loudspeaker without having any special chip in the machine. And just £10. Yes, really good actually, value. Actually, we've got a tape of that speaking, so we'll see what you think of There's that tongue twister that we used earlier in the scene. <laughs> Oh, thank you kindly. Okay. Well, I think you can make it out in among the yes. buzzing. Now, this is a word processor program. It's from Mastertronic. It costs about £15, and it's for the Commodore 64 or the uh, 128. It's a very simple one, but apparently it's quite adequate for its purposes. Not, not bad at 15 quid. Mm. This is one of the best-selling hardware add-ons this year. It's the AMX mouse, and you can get this for the BBC computer, the Amstrad, or the Spectrum, in a price about £70 to £90. Pounds. But to capitalise on that a bit and give you some extra facilities, AMX... Be quiet, cat. <laughs> AMX have brought out another thing called PageMaker, and that enables you to take bits of text and move them around and generate uh, something that looks like a newspaper. It's very much like the Macintosh software, but this one only costs £50, available for the BBC Micro. But you do need the mouse. You do. Well, that's what's getting the cats excited. We'll come to you in a minute. <laughs> right, books, books. There are some super books yes. here. These are great. I do like the Osborne series. They're very cheap. They're very good. They're written for children, in fact, but there's a lot of good information in there. This one starts off explaining what a word process is all about, lots of cartoons but by the end there's there's actually a whole shopper's guide to commercial there's a whole businesses. range of these books on different topics and they're targeted not only at very young people but also people who really know what they, they want to do and uh, really been edited in a very professional way I strongly recommend those first rate yeah another book uh, practical hardware projects by Joe Telford for nine pounds if you want to get your soldering iron out and build things that's really quite interesting Artificial intelligence is really one of the buzzwords these days, and uh, this book shows the basics of it in both sense of the word, the basic language and the fundamentals. Quite interesting. We've got um, a bit of not very uh, artificial intelligence here. Just look at this thing, isn't it? Uh, quite stunning. It looks around to find out where it is, and go on, move, that's it, and we're off. Excellent. Artificial <laughs> idiocy, but I think I can top it with this dog here. Come on, pooch. Look at that. See right. it does everything you tell me. Now, let me put the dog amongst the cats and show you what's been making all this noise down here. Come on, on your marks. That's right, and we're off. And to add to that, we have the formation dancing team, uh, or should I say the synchronised swimmers, yes. uh, which are undoubtedly get near one. Oh, nice one. Got <laughs> his area. synchronised. <laughs> if you wanted a setup like this at home, John, how much is it going to cost you? Well, the robots are snip at about £170, uh, without skull caps for the swimming. Um, the uh, big cat, about £70, and the little cats, about £50. Clearly essential. Well, the dog likes it. Of course, if you don't like that kind of din, what about making your own din with this thing, which I demonstrated earlier in the series, the spec drum unit for the Spectrum computer. Uh, very good value at £30, and they've just released a new kit of Latin American sounds. Can you give us a sample of the, oh, um, the music on there? I believe you're rather good. <laughs> Fantastic. <Not bad>. <laughs> All right. Now, this is something for people like me who are completely incapable of playing these complex video games. No coordination. You plug it into either an Electron, Spectrum, Amstrad, Commodore 64 or BBC, and then turn this knob down and the game slows right down so you can actually get uh, the machines and Bit actually hit the thing things. It's a thing to want to do, though, isn't it? Yes, I suppose so, but Max seems to be doing rather well. He's got a high score of 101 credits on Elite. <laughs> starting with 100, of course. <laughs> so you can play it at normal speed, but you can actually oh. crank the speed down. Oh, I think he's been zapped. Come on, own up, Mac. That's been set up all afternoon. I zapped them. <laughs> Tough luck, Mac. Well, that, of course, was Elite, which is a, a very good game, I'm told. I haven't been talking myself, rate. but that is a version for the Spectrum, just right. released at 1495. And if you've got that sort of money to spend, well, what about this? Also for the Spectrum, it's Lord of the Rings from the same people that brought you The Hobbit. However, this one, 1595, you get two tapes and the book, Fellowship of the Wrong Rings, not the wrongs, which is described on the back as the ultimate hint book. I don't know if Tolkien would have liked that, but there Okay, you go. slightly smaller hints here. These little hints are only £1.99 a shot uh, for the cassette. There's some really cheap game software available for a whole range of machines and very, very good. Uh, this is bringing the, the software down to the price where kids can save up for a couple of weeks and buy some stuff. It's good. £1.99 from Mastertronic. Mm. And to give you an idea of the kind of value you get, here's a game being played. It's called The Last V8. Ah, it's not playing at the moment, it's in demo mode. There we go. We've had to put it in demo mode because nobody here could master it. <laughs> We've all got two shaky hands, including the cameraman. Um, actually, this seems to be the year of the race game. Mm. We've got another one here, which is 3D Grand Prix for the Amstrad, which Leslie is getting absolutely first rate at. £9.95. <laughs> 